The ABC 15 investigators getting answers tonight from a state agency promising more accountability. That was months of reporting raising concerns about patient safety at one of Arizona's largest medical imaging providers and perhaps more significantly, a lack of oversight by the state health department. ABC 15 investigator Jennifer Kovaleski going directly to those in power. You came to us with your concerns after an Arizona inmate and prison guard were stuck to the MRI machine at this Simon Med in Avondale. Then we learned a patient at this Simon Med in Scottsdale was accidentally injected with Valium. Both incidents raised serious questions about patient safety. And now internal emails explain how Simon Med went unregulated by the state health department for years. With more than 60 locations across the valley, how does one of Arizona's largest medical imaging providers operate without a license from the state health department? For the first time, we're getting those answers in internal emails the ABC 15 investigators obtained through an open records request, telling conversations among top ranking leaders at the Arizona Department of Health Services. The emails go back to 2018. They focus on the state's decision to grant Simon Med a special exemption from licensing an exemption health leaders started questioning last summer. The Bureau Chief of Medical Licensing at one point writing, this is why we should be regulating Simon Med. An inmate and guard got stuck in the MRI machine. That's pure negligence on the part of the tech. In another email, the same employee said, I think what you're seeing is the total lack of oversight. These poor patients have essentially been denied their rights and they had no way to report the facilities. Do you agree with those comments that were in emails. I don't know about lack of oversight. I, I believe at the time um, we believe that we did not have oversight. Tom Salo is the assistant director of licensing at the health department. While he may not agree with what his colleague wrote in those emails, he's now promising change in how the state regulates Simon Med. Will all of their facilities be licensed? As far as I know right now, they are moving to get licensed to all their facilities. What will that mean moving forward? It gives us oversight. We will inspect the premises on a regular basis. And if there is a complaint that's under licensing's authority, we can investigate and inspect. Authority the health department hasn't had for years at Simon Med. Could the health department have done more to ensure that Simon Med was licensed when it needed to be? When we were aware that maybe they met the criteria for licensing, we worked with them to get them into compliance. He's talking about what our investigation uncovered. During the past four months, the ABC 15 investigators have aired nearly a half dozen reports exposing critical mistakes at Simon Med. We also brought to light questions about how the company's 60 plus locations were still considered physician owned and operated and therefore exempt from state licensing, especially after this private equity firm announced a major investment in the company a few years ago. Who is overseeing public's health and safety? Testimonials from MRI safety experts, patients, attorneys. How would you describe this case? As an incident that should have never happened. And phone calls a patient recorded with Simon Med's own employees. Um, it was a big error, we do apologize. They all detailed troubling incidents during MRI scans at Simon Med's Arizona Imaging Centers and a lack of accountability because without licensing, the health department had no authority to investigate or take enforcement action. If you're exempt from licensing, we don't have oversight. Um, we, we can't. It's not an optional oversight. It's, it's we can't. To understand what ultimately led to Simon Med's licensing exemption, we have to go back to those internal emails. They show the company filed for a private office exemption six years ago. The exemption was granted in 2018, which means there's been six years of little oversight. But Simon Med only qualified for the exemption after the health department rescinded this policy statement earlier that same year. The old policy said to be considered a private office, a doctor had to provide care at a facility for at least eight hours a month, something Simon Med's sole owner at the time. Dr. Howard John Simon wasn't able to do once the state removed the eight hours a month requirement. Emails show Simon Med filed for an exemption from licensing at all of its nearly 50 facilities. It was determined that they met the exemption. Salo was not a part of the licensing team when Simon Med filed for the exemption. It happened under a previous administration. But here's another telling email as the health department was trying to figure out why Simon Med wasn't licensed last year. The Bureau Chief of Medical Licensing wrote in an email in August. 
I do not believe the Simon Med meets the definition of private office, but I understand they may have been involved in getting the SPS taken down. Referring to that policy statement the health department removed in 2018. Was Simon Med in any way involved in getting their exemption? The rescinding of that SPS, the substantive policy statement, I mean, it applies across the board. From my understanding, one entity may have had us reevaluate whether or not we can do that, but ultimately the department decided that they wanted to rescind that and that the statute is clear enough. We asked Simon Med directly if they were involved in getting the policy removed. The company didn't answer our question. But Salo says moving forward, patients can expect more oversight and accountability at Simon Med. And you can expect us to keep asking your questions. There's many more that need to get licensed and we'll continue working with them to get into compliance. 16 Simon Med locations in Arizona are now licensed with the state health department. The health department says an additional close to 50 Simon Med locations will be licensed in the next few weeks. Simon Med sent us a statement that doesn't address our reporting, writing in part, every physician, technologist, and piece of imaging equipment in a Simon Med facility is licensed and regulated. Our facilities and practitioners are subject to numerous licensing and accreditation requirements, which we comply. But again, until recently, Simon Med was not licensed with the state health department. Our reporting will continue. I'm investigator Jennifer Kovaleski, ABC 15, Arizona. In those internal emails, the state health department said they also received allegations of Simon Med patients being charged for copays when their insurance covers 100% of the cost, then struggling to be able to get a refund. If those allegations sound familiar, they should. Our ABC 15 Let Joe Know team had been investigating billing complaints against Simon Med for years with dozens of Arizonans asking for help and asking for change. To see those reports or to share your own experience, go to abc15.com forward slash let Joe know.